Okay, Java tutorials. In this video tutorial, we'll talk about SQL not null constraints. So let's try to understand the concept and uh, same we will explore through an example as well, right? So here, when we talk about the not null constraint, first of all, you need to keep in mind, by default, a column can hold null values, right? If you want, column should not hold the null values, then not null constraints, uh, you can define on the column level. So this is the column level constraints. The not null constraints enforces a column to not accept null values, right? This enforces a field to always contain a value, which means that you cannot insert a new record or update a record without adding a value to this field. Yeah. So let's try to understand through an example. So here is the SQL developer and here I'm, I'm going to basically create a table, right? So here, how we can define a not null constraint? There are two ways you can define. There are two, basically two uh, way to define a not null constraint. First of all, while creating the database object, or you can say while creating the database table itself, at the time you can uh, basically uh, specify not null constraint on any co column. If that is not the case, if you forget to define not null constraint on the particular column, then once you create the database table after afterwards you can use the alter command to add or delete any existing not null constraint uh, from the table right so let's try to understand so first of all i'm going to create a table table is name is called a student right so i would say create table uh, name is called a student a student table i'm going to create okay and here, first of all, I'm going to specify a column is called uh, ID, right? Okay, so ID and data type would be number, let's say size is, uh, let's say four, yeah? And this column I'm going to uh, define as a not null so that this column cannot hold the null values. People cannot insert null value in this uh, column. So directly right away, you can define not null consent like something like this. Just after uh, after uh, basically a uh, column definition, right? Beside the column definition, just you can uh, apply the not null constraint. Now, second way, let's say I'm going to uh, write, uh, I'm going to create a second column, first name, and uh, let's say data type is Parker to size let's say 30 I'm going to specify here if you want to define a not null constraint there is another way so here of course there should be a comma now here another way you can define a not null constraint uh, here you can put a constraint keyword right you can give the constraint name if you do not give the constraint name then Oracle is going to give constraint constraint name in behalf of you but it's better a better uh, basic way to define your constraint name yourself so i would say constraint and constraint name you can see first name underscore n n n n means not null so the meaningful constraint name you have to give after that you can see you can give not null right this is another way to define basically not null constraint now, now i'm going to define a last column last name and that would be a uh, let's say size i'm going to define as 30 and last name also I'm going to give as a 30 and final parenthesis close and semicolon right so that our query is terminated with a semicolon now I'm going to create this table now here you can see table has been created let's uh, describe this table see the details DESC table name right if you see a description of this table right then here you can see uh, ID first name last name so ID we have a not null concept we have applied first uh, basically first name we have also applied not null consent but the last name can accept null values right if you look into the details then last name can accept the null values so if now table is created now you want to basically apply not null consent on the last name right then how we can do that or if you want to ex uh, delete some uh, basically existing uh, constraint then how we can do that and that's what we have alter command so let's say alter let's i'm going to first of all uh, add a new constraint on the last name so i would say alter alter table and then table name you have to give so that's nothing but the student and here 
uh, let's say I want to apply not null constraint last name meant that means I'm going to just modify definition of this column right so I'd say uh, alter table and then modify modify right and uh, you have to give a column name right which you want to modify then you have to give constraint and you can give the constraint name and let's say constraint name i'm going to specify as not null last name underscore nn means last null no last name cannot be null and constraint constraint what constraint you want to apply so not null right and if i run this query and after that if you describe then you'll see on last name also not not null has been applied so here you can see last name also uh, we have applied not null now let's say if you want to delete existing not null constraint then uh, again you have a uh, basically alter command so i would say alter uh, table student then we have to use drop alter with drop drop sorry drop and then i would say constraint so here we had given the constraint name right that's the advantage when you have give, given the constraint name then you can delete by constraint name itself right so here uh, i would say alter table student drop constraint and constraint name now i'm going to drop whatever or not null constraint we had applied on the last name in this line that i'm going to drop again right so if i execute this query then uh, here you can say table student altered uh, if i describe this table let me clean this uh, let me close this and let me describe this table now you can see not null constraint has been removed from last name so guys this is the way to basically uh, define not constraint not constraint on the column level and if you want to delete or modify existing uh, constraint not null constraint from table then you can do uh, using alter command so that's all i have in this video thank you so much and see you there in the next video